All right, once to know the language, I'm afraid my fat fingers, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna chew Spanglish with English and Spanish at the same time. You notice the, the pen gets activating there before I even get it very close. All right, gonna choose English. And next. So there's the agreement, blah, blah, blah. I've read the whole thing, I really promise I have. And accept. Now this looks the same as a, a standard Windows 8 install if you've bought the upgrade disk. You get to this point. Pick a color. Let's do a medium blue. All right. And we have to give it a name. But without having to attach the keyboard, let's see what happens if I tap in here. Ha ha! There's my touch keyboard on the screen. So we'll uh, call it And to switch to the numbers, ah, they put it as a 10 keypad over here. Okay, I'm going to call it Win8 Pro. Go to next. Ah, connect to a network later. That's my only option to get past here if I don't want to sign up right now. Various settings. Do I want all the default settings where they get to? So they want all the default settings. I will go ahead and accept those this time around. Got to give it a username or so finish actually. And this again is typical with any Windows 8 installation. Looks like it's shipped with the battery half charged, so I'm going to plug it in and charge it the rest of the way up. Got the transformer with a place to plug this in, it only goes one way. Plug this into the wall. Let's see how long this cable is. I'm thinking it's not as long as I'd like. Maybe six feet in total. Definitely not as long as I'd like. I've got it plugged in down where I have my laptop. I can take my laptop practically all the way across the desk with no problem. All right, well, deal with what we got. So this is the piece that's magnetically hooks onto the side of the surface to provide electricity. It doesn't plug in. That way you don't have to worry about breaking it off should you, you know, stand up and walk away with this forgetting that you had it plugged in and charging. All right, here's the spot on the end. You can see the little pins in there, and that's where you're going to connect this um, magnetic plug. It can go one of two ways. You can connect it so that it goes either up or down. It doesn't matter. It fits either way. The only difference is there's a little LED light on the top that lights up and turns white to tell you it's charging. So in case you're worried you didn't get the pins lined up right or something, I'm going to connect it here the way the guy at the Microsoft Store recommended, which is up. And you see the little light that comes on? So that's with it up. Now I take it off, light goes out, I turn it the other way, and it should grab right in there. Yeah. And now I'm looking at the bottom of it, and I can see that the light is on, that it's charging, but you're not going to see that if you're using it in the usual fashion. So that's just one consideration. So we'll put it the normal way to charge up. All right, before I let it get too far along in charging, I want to put the stylus on it and see how that fits. There's some kind of tapey thing on this. All right. Now the stylus is a, feels like a little inexpensive mechanical pencil. It feels real plasticky. I don't know what the button on the end does quite yet. And this obviously, it, the little nub on the end, you can press it against the screen and supposedly sensitive, pressure sensitive based on how hard you're pressing. But anyway, so you don't lose this, the best thing to do is to open up your desk drawer and put it in there now. But if you actually want to try to use it, um, there's no place to store it on the Surface Pro except right in this uh, little port with the pins here where you put the charger, which means when you're charging your Surface Pro, then where are you going to put this? But in any case, 
let's put this in the place it's supposed to go. I'm going to pull off the power plug here. It pulls right off because it's just held on by a magnet. And then with the pen, it's uh, not, the, not the clip part that would clip into your pocket, but there's a little bumpy thing further down. It has to go this way. Okay, well that doesn't look too bad. Well that doesn't look too bad. Kind of blends right into the side of it there. And when you need it, it's right there. Board, surface. I've got the uh, kickstand out. Let's see if I can do this from the back. Whoa, okay. It's just like in the commercials. It jumped right on and clicked. So that part is very accurate. 